Bethur, Ashok Kumar, and today we are going to talk about inequalities, which is part of algebra. But what is inequality? An inequality is similar to an equation, except we are talking about two sides that is not equal. Okay, today we are going to solve two inequalities. One is a simple, the other is a complex. So we'll just get started with the simple one. The simple one is 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 17. It's just like an equation, except we're talking about greater than or equal to. So that means there's going to be values that will make this true. So how do I get 2x by itself? Well, we are going to add 1, since this 1 here is a negative 1. So we'll just add 1 here, and add 1 here. So these two 1's cancel out. So then we'll have 2x on the left side, greater than or equal to 18. And now, we divide both sides by 2. It's almost like an equation. Whatever you do to one side has to be done with the other. Otherwise, your inequality is going to get really false. So we'll just cancel out these twos. So then we have x is greater than or equal to 9. And there you have it. That's the answer. But is it a true answer? We'll see. But is x actually greater than or equal to 9? What I mean here is any value that is greater than 9 and equal to 9 makes this entire inequality true. I can show you to this through a number line. So I'll just draw a number line here. So 1, let me say we have 0. We have a 9 here. We have a negative 9. I'll have a negative 9 here for more screens and I don't want to waste it. We have a 9 here because this is the starting point. And we have a circle. You want to color in a circle because we are talking about numbers that is greater than 9 and equal to 9. And if you want to represent 10, 11, 12, you're going to have to go to your right. Shade it to your right. If you shade it to your left, you're going the wrong way. And there you have it. That's the number line. But how can I make sure that this is actually true? We can substitute a value that is true and a value that is false. So let's take a true value. Let's say 10. That's the nearest number. Or we can go with 9. I'll just go with 9 because what do we I can do? So we have 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 17. And we're talking about x equals 9. So then we would have 2 times 9 minus 1 is greater than or equal to 17. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. And then minus 1 is greater than or equal to 17. And then we have 18 minus 1, which is 17 is greater than or equal to 17. Is this true? Although 17 is not greater than 17, it is equal to 17. So this is a true statement. 9 will work. But what about something that does not work? Let's take 8. 8 is the nearest one to 9, and it doesn't make sense. And we'll make it true. So 2 times 8, because we're talking about x equals 8. Minus 1 is greater than or equal to 17. 2 times 8 equals 16. Minus 1 is greater than or equal to 17. 16 minus 1 equals 15, which is greater than or equal to 17. Is this true? Nope. 15 is not greater than and is not equal to 17. It is less than or equal to 17. So that is why 8 doesn't work. And there you have it. This is a basic one. Let's get into the more complex one. So here we have 5 times 2 minus x is less than 20. Less than 20. 
But what about this 5 times 2 that times x? We multiply 5 times 2, and then 5 times minus x. This is really important. If you just do this, that's not going to work. So here we have 5 times 2. It is 10. And then 5 times minus x, you have negative 5x, which is less than 20. But how do I get the negative 5x by itself? Well, subtract 10. Minus 10, minus 10. Those cancel out. So we have negative 5x is greater, is less than 10. And now, I want to get rid of the 5 and the negative. So we'll have to divide both sides by a negative 5. Negative 5. The negative 5 to cancel out, so we have x is greater than negative 2. Okay, so you're confused. Why x greater than negative 2 when we have a plus then? Well, because we are dividing by a negative number. Keep this in mind, and this is really important. If you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number, you swap the inequality sign. So if you have a greater than or equal to, you have to swap it to less than or equal to. And that makes it true. We can represent this on the number line. So number line, number line. Zero here, negative two, negative four, two, four. Remember, you always have to have the start here. We have a circle, but this do not color it in because we are representing numbers that is greater than negative 2, not, which does not include negative 2. If you use negative 2 in the answer, it doesn't work. If you want to represent 1, because 1 is greater than negative 2, you have to go to the right. If you're going to your left side, you're going the wrong way. These are just smaller values. And there you have it. But does x greater, is greater than negative 2 work? Well, let's, we're, let's try solving a value that does work. So we'll do 0. 0. So we have 5 times 2 minus x is greater than, is going to be less than 20. And we're talking about x equals 0. So we have 5 times 2 minus 0, which is less than 20. And we do 5, we do the 2 minus 0. We have 5 times 2 is less than 20. But I know what you're thinking. You could just do the same way, 5 times 2 and then 5 times 0. But remember, we're doing order of operations, PEMDAS. Parenthesis first, and then multiplication. So we have 5 times 2, which is 10. And 10 is less than 20. So that makes it a true statement. 0 does work in this whole inequality. But what about a value that does not work? Let's do negative 2. So I'll just erase this. We have x equals negative 2. So we do 5 times 2 plus 2. Remember, a negative times this negative is a positive, which is less than or equal to less than 20. We do 5 times 4. Remember, do parentheses first before multiplying, which is less than 20. So 5 times 4 is 20, or less than 20. Is this a true statement here? 20. Is this a true statement? Nope. 20 is not less than 20. 20 equals 20. If you said 20 is less than or equal to 20, the statement would be true. But because we're working with less than, nope, it's gone.